Hello everyone, everyone. I'm Lady T506. So welcome to my channel. I am here for Ratchet Season 1 Episode 6. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're one of my peoples, a welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. This episode, we kind of got a um like a a killer origin story as to why that Edmund is the way that he is and why Mildred is so protected of, of him. Now, I was trying to figure out, I don't think I, no, I didn't bring this up in my past reviews or reactions. How were they brother and sister? Because he said to his mother, wasn't his mother like a nun or something like that? And after she got pregnant by the Monsignor, they threw her in the whorehouse and he was put in foster care. And Mildred was saying how her mama just like, her mom and daddy just like basically abandoned her to the foster care system. So I was trying to figure out how they were brother and sister. But this episode, we did get a little background of them. Now, Edmund and Dolly, they are on the run. I don't know, but these two, they didn't fell in love. She didn't rubbed on this man one time. She didn't have sex with this man one time, but they in love and they didn't. She didn't shot somebody. He didn't doggone split somebody's throat. Now, I thought that she had brought the gun with her until I, like, rewatched it. She got the gun off of the security card. And she could have just been like, back up, back up. And then they could have ran off. She didn't need to shoot Gwendolyn. But I guess she, you know, she had some bloodlust in her to where she wanted to shoot somebody too so they can be like Bonnie and Clyde together. So these two on the run. Now, I think it would have been a better idea to, for them to use that car a little while longer and you know drive off some a good little distance but they had to abandon the car so now we got to find shelter for the night like we almost in the middle of nowhere there's not too much shelter place that they can go to but her idea is we gonna take our clothes off so we can you know the scent of our clothes the bloodhounds are not gonna be able to smell but i'm like y'all still in y'all underwear so that's still y'all scent on y'all Okay, this is what we're going with. Edmund, he's going along with it because he don't know no better. She's getting all of her how to escape the law from movies. I don't think that was a good idea, but hey, these two didn't think things out. Now, Gwendolyn, she didn't went through surgery and everything. And right as Mildred is about to tell her, you know, a fresh out of surgery, like you came out of the operating room, they got you sitting there until you come out. Right when she was about to tell her, I guess, that she loves her and all that good stuff, Gwendolyn wakes up. She'd been hiding who she was, and Gwendolyn, like, wakes up, like, right then and there. I was like, she did not seem like she was in pain at all. And back in the 50s, when they was doing surgery from you, I know they was giving you a good 12-inch incision. When I had my gallbladder removed, I had four incisions, like, the size of a doggone it maybe a pinky nail and I woke up in an immense pain I had four small scars this woman was cut at least 12 inches from this being back in the 50s and she wakes up and she doesn't seem like she's in that much of a pain I'm like okay what kind of medication did they give you now Edmund and Dolly they did not think things through they're at this cabin and I guess she assumed that even though this cabin, this little house has been abandoned, that there was going to be an abundance of food. It was going to be clean. All of these things. No. This is where the rodents go to to get whatever food is left over. This is where they've been sheltering from the cold and from the heat and all of these things. So she's mad now. It's like, we don't have any food. We don't have nowhere to sleep. I don't want to sleep in this doggone it roach and rat infested house. So I'm going to make a, this little pallet out in the barn. But I was like, ain't that where the horses was at? Don't it be stinking out there too? Like, yeah, she's still relying on movies is to get these these two through the day. Now, at one point, she done pulled a gun out on Ed. And he's like, hold up now. Like, what's wrong with you? And she's like, why are you scared? It's like, because you have a gun pointed at me. Like, that's why I'm scared. And he's talking about some, he's probably like the least scariest man that she has ever met and I was like what does that mean because it seemed like he's not all the way down with killing yes he killed those priests and yes he slit the security guard's throat but you just out here you just shot Gwendolyn for no good reason and he's like upset and don't want to kill the rooster even though they need something to eat 
He can't even watch her kill the rooster. Dolly, at this point, she seems more dangerous than him. That's what it seems like right now. It seems like she, she ain't got it all the way screwed on up in there and her. Now, we find out that Mildred and Edmund were foster siblings. She was brought into a home where he was already in and they was getting beat up, down, left, and right. Because after Gwendolyn and woke up from surgery, it, I don't know how long. I don't think it's been that long because I don't think Edmund and Dolly got that far. But she's like, well, I'm getting out pretty soon. So, yeah, I want to go to this um, marionette play. She was already watching it on TV. And Mel just like, that's for kids. I really don't want to do that. And I was like, what is it that, about the marionette dolls that you don't like? But we find out. Because her and Edmund, they were put into... They were both in foster care system, and they were getting beat a lot. And like, every home they was in, they was getting beat. And the social worker, she felt sorry for them, so she, like, forged documents to say that they are siblings so they would never be separated. And, like, just when they thought that they had found their forever home, a loving family for money, they were wrong. Because in the basement, they looked like, okay, we got a little theater for the children. But it turns out it was... The I guess I guess they were the adopted parent at this time. They would one have forced them to perform sexual acts on each other, low down their dogs, and then they would put secret coded ads in the newspaper so people can come and pay to watch this. Low down dirty dogs, sick low down dirty dogs, and after having like gone through this too much, Edmund decides to kill the mom and daddy, and. As she's watching the marionette play, she's seeing her life through the dolls. Seeing her being beat from foster care to foster care. You know, seeing her and Edmund having to do everything to each other. She just, like, freaks out. Everybody else is seeing the actual show. She is seeing what she went through in life. And she, like, spazzes out. And, you know, Gwyneth's like, girl, what's wrong with you? So she finally tells Gwendolyn that she was brought up in the foster care system and, and what her and Edmund went to and that Edmund is, Edmund is her brother. Now, I don't know why she needed to tell that. It could have been like I went through some things and when I was a foster care, my brother did this, that, and the third. He killed our parents, all of these things. But she didn't have to throw in the whole Edmund is my brother because, you know, you don't know Gwendolyn like that. You know that she like you, but you don't know if she like you enough to keep your secret. And you to keep your job and you keep you out of jail. So I don't know if you should have been telling her all that. Edmund and Dolly. Okay, we got us a gun, so we're gonna go rob a bank. They fan to leave when the police is there because one, y'all couldn't have got that far because there's nothing around here. Y'all should have kept y'all car and kept on driving, going and got up out of here, try to trade um switch lights and play, do something. I don't know. This is the fifties, this I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all probably could have done something but stand in this bar. Like, slept a little bit, then keep it pushing. You know, drove the um, car somewhere, had it hit out, and, you know, did that for like a few hours and y'all got some plea. Or maybe just kept on driving and got as far away as y'all could, but no, they didn't. These two go to the back door. Like, the police wasn't going to be at the back door, too. So, Ed was like, he going to be all manly and chivalrous and all like, I'm going to tell them I kidnapped you, okay? I don't want you to die. I don't want you to die. I love you. This and the third. He goes out there and he's like, he surrenders and everything. She had nothing to do with this, y'all. She good. But this fool, she want to go out in a blaze of glory. Because she think they Bonnie and Clyde. Because y'all know Bonnie and Clyde end up dying. So she get the shotgun and she get the shooting at the police and she ends up dying. And he ends up back at the hospital. Yeah. Just stupid. These two, they were not masterminds in the least. She was stupid because now she done lost her life off this dude that she don't really know at all. That's why I say just about everybody on here has some type of issues from all the nurses to the patients. And the governor, he got something going on too. The governor, he is no longer going to be funding the hospital because like how you go let this, this priest killer in the dance, and he ended up killing the security guard, shooting my secretary, and escaping. And his accomplice ended up shooting several police and ended up getting killed herself. So, I'm going to need you to sign these papers. And 
I might do some things for you. But he like ended up backing out on this deal and firing Gwendolyn. I think something's going to happen to that governor. He is very... In today's day, he would have been getting sued for sexual harassment. He really would. E what, Evelyn, what's her name? Mildred, she is mad at Edmund, like, don't even call me Nurse Ratchet. Don't even say my name. You better be glad that they didn't blow your head off. I've done all of this for your raggedy tail, for you and that raggedy girl, may she rest, to escape... I've done all this ris risking my freedom. I did not go to help and somebody killing themselves. I did not go help somebody get killed. I've done all this for your raggedy self and you couldn't stick to this plan just because you were sniffing up on this girl and hunched on her a good one time. Okay. So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything y'all, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. So on my beautiful face, put up a video. You can click on it. You can like it. And you can share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples. By clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.